Welcome back to a card as light everyone. Uh, today I got a box of 1819 trilogy, which I've never opened before. If you recall about a month ago, I opened uh, this year's trilogy on the channel. And some nice results overall, except for the damage that some of the cards had coming out. As of recording this on Friday, September 11th, I still haven't heard back from Upper Deck. I mean, I heard back, but I sent it a few weeks ago. Still haven't gotten anything back, but uh, I was told in prior years, Trill didn't have uh, the quality control issues that this year's did. So, so I decided I'd take a shot. Uh, obviously looking for Patterson because Hart's not in this, I don't think. He, just, he premiered in the NHL about a month before this stuff came out. So... Definitely won't expect him to be in this, but here we go. Sean Couturier, Selk winner Sean Couturier, very deserved. Deserved for a few years now. Nathan McKinnon, Riley Smith. There he is, <laughs> Elias Pedersen. Show the rookie premieres auto. Out of 149, oh my god. He is following lately. I'm very thankful for that, look at that. Oh. Might one touch that. I got a couple still. That is awesome. First the young gun. Now the auto. Yep. Here's my one touch. <laughs> there we go. It's a, he's always he's always right at the beginning too. Like my ten of a uh, series. One, he was the second pack. Trilogy, he's the first pack. But what? Might, might need to rearrange here a little bit. But he's going back there for now. Again, do I need to open the rest of the box? I do actually, because still could find some cool stuff inside. But right off the bat, Elias Pedersen. Now we're, we're flanked by either side by Elias. Uh, Austin Matthews, Sebastian Ajo, Jonathan Marcheseau, and Phil Kessel, uh, blue parallel, numbered to 799. But it's always nice. I mean, I love saving the big hits for last, but it's nice knowing from the first pack that you already made your money back. Not that I'm planning on selling that card, but what a pull. Had a couple disappointing breaks right before this, so haven't uploaded yet. So I'm 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 pumped about that. I'm pretty slick. Uh Galchenyuk, Kucherov, Shattenkirk, and other Kucherov this time a parallel to seven ninety nine. I think his last year or prior year trilogy is still three hits a box, right? I mean, it doesn't matter a whole lot because of that, but finish off the first half here. Sidney Crosby, Henrik Lundqvist, Mark Andre Fleury, and Eric Carlson, red parallel to 425. Cool looking card. Don't know if the Sharks are going to regret that deal though or not. A few years here. There's a memorabilia in here. Tell by the thickness. Alexander Barkov, Patrick Kane, and Dylan Sakura, uh, rookie Premier's jersey to 4 99 Not the biggest name, but again, who cares? I'll see that up anyway, though. I can find my sleeves They're right here. Patterson kind of put me in a, a heese again, but yeah, they haven't any quality control issues yet. Only three packs to go, but still. Now, Dylan Larkin, Brock Bezer, Mitch Marner. And Anthony Cirelli, a rookie of Premier's, number 999, 
pretty cool. Another great young player. The Lightning stole in the middle of the draft. Whoops. I think he was a third rounder. That was Young Guns, too. That's a sweet pool, though. Anthony Cirelli. No, one touch that one. Not one touch. Top load. Cirelli. Two packs to go. You definitely already won this box. Let's just see it last two packs to deliver. Braden Holtby. Ryan Suter. Jonathan Taves. Looks like it might be another rookie. It is of Michael Rasmussen. Former first round pick. Top 10 pick. Still pretty young. Playing a pretty big dumpster fire of a team there in Detroit. Not bad. Not bad pool. And last, there's another jersey. Starting with Tarasenko, Atkinson, and Rask. Tuka Rask. Number to 430. Because of the 430 games he had played in the NHL. Started in the NHL. To that point. I'll grade that A+. Plus. Recap. Uh, Carlson. Kucherov and Kessel. Parallels. In terms of memorabilia. We got Sakura and Rask. Rookies, Sorelli and Rasmussen. Of course, the prize of the box, Mr. Pedersen, once again. <clears throat> if I keep having that luck, I hope I keep having that luck. It's my first Pedersen autograph. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This was a, definitely a pretty killer break. Uh, great box. I got this one at my hobby shop, my local card shop, um, but two Patterson's in the background, can't really go wrong with that, thanks a lot for watching, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, um, and until next time, it's been a card day's night, and I'll be back again.